Finally, a Tesla Cybertruck for real billionaires, apocalypse bunker not included. Hey EV lovers, welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for electric vehicles. If you're as excited about EVs as we are, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and drop a comment below. And if you want to help us bring even more amazing content, consider giving us a super thanks. It's armored, it has a generator that runs on jet fuel, and its makers claim it can protect occupants from 14.5mm rounds. Unplugged Performance and Archimedes Defense are kicking off a military-like upgrade program for the Tesla Cybertruck. The add-ons include a jet fuel-powered generator and bolt-on, bolt-off body armor. It's 2054, and the world as we know it is in shambles. Electric vehicle charging stations are everywhere, but they're often unavailable because their heat sensors are constantly being tripped off by the heat waves that are as common as dust. But it's okay because you're driving a Tesla Cybertruck Sting, an all-electric pickup devised back in 2024 by Unplugged Performance and Archimedes Defense. It has armor plating, a satellite internet connection, and a generator that can fast charge the pickup anywhere, as long as you have the right fuel with you, that is. As silly as this might sound, the Cybertruck part is real. Made for both government and civilian use, the so-called Sting upgrade is available in three versions, depending on how deep your pockets are and how many cans of food you have in storage, presumably. The Cybertruck Sting Baja comes with unplugged performance's invincible off-road pack that includes a 2.5-inch suspension lift, a front bull bar, underbody armor, a bunch of LED lights, a Starlink satellite internet dish, and an upgraded rear bumper, among other things. But what sets this truck apart is a frunk-mounted, aviation-derived AmpDrive G125 generator that can run on jet fuel, diesel, or biodiesel and provide up to 125 kilowatts of power to the high-voltage batteries through an NACS connector. Then, there's the Sting Protector model, which adds bolt-on, bolt-off external offset steel armor plating designed to withstand 7.62 mm assault rifle rounds. Finally, the Sting APC is billed as the ultimate defense upgrade, offering enhanced IED slash mine protection, an upgraded offset steel and ceramic armor plating that's designed to protect occupants from 14.5 mm heavy machine gun rounds. The top spec APC option includes a double V-hole fitted underneath the vehicle to protect the high voltage battery, according to unplugged performance, which should help with the claim that the EV can withstand an IED attack. We don't know how much all of this costs, partly because they're custom builds, but if we had to guess, we'd wager it's well over $50,000 for the whole shebang. Who is this for, exactly? The two companies behind it say the entry-level Baja is pretty much for everybody, while the middle-spec protector option is designed for private individual, corporate, and government customer use in moderate threat environments. Meanwhile, the over-the-top APC model was designed for the most demanding tactical customers in high-threat environments. It looks pretty cool. I'll give it that. But is this really necessary? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's episode of EVpedia. If you had fun, subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to give us a super thanks to support our channel. Thanks for watching, and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.